Okay, now if you're someone who is interested in keeping yourself up to date with everything that's happening with your phone, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and become a part of Apex community. In today's video, we are going to check out some massive updates we have received from Google for the Google applications. Without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Google Messages have got some amazing updates. Now the link previews have been redesigned. When you get the links from somebody on your Google Messages, then you will get these nice, beautiful looking previews now. As you can see, we have got the YouTube preview here and this is a website preview. The previews have now been redesigned and it looks much better now. And you can also notice the image viewer has been redesigned. When you get multiple images, this is how it's going to look. You can see we have got three different images here and you can swipe towards the left or right to view those images. And you can see that brand new feature Remix sitting right there on this image. And this Remix feature is enabled by Nano Banana. Let me tap on this. It says Remix your photos, select a photo and transform it into a new and unique creation built with Gemini. Let's continue. Now on this photo, I can describe the changes that I want. And I got some suggestions over here. As you can see, there are many suggestions. Recreate in a 90s style, give a bob haircut, give a 1980s makeover, turn it into a fun photo shoot, transform into a superhero. So all these suggestions are available here. What I'll do is I'll ask Gemini to add some cars on the streets. And it is doing its magic. Here you go. It looks beautiful. The same image has now got the cars on the street and I can write a caption over here and send this image. There you go. The image that I have got is this and the image that I just created using Gemini is this one over here. So we now have nano banana integration within Google messaging application and we have got a brand new image preview as well. Next, as you can see, we have got a brand new account menu redesign and we have got these categories here, your profile archived, spam and block, mark all, all as red, device pairing are all in one category and then we have got a different tabs for the rest of the settings. So this has been redesigned and it actually looks pretty simple and clean. The next feature on Google Messages is spam link detection. Now, if you get a link which is suspected to be a spam, Google will be warning you, it will show you this notification, link blocked. It says this message was flagged as likely spam. If this isn't right, close this alert and tap not spam. So you will be notified if there is a spam message, a spam link which has been sent to your messaging application. That's a very important feature that we now have. Next, a massive update has come to the Google Photos as well. If you tap on create on Google Photos, you'll be able to create some highlight videos with templates. You can tap on highlight video and select the template that you want. And here you can just tap on use template and select the images to create a highlight video. Now this feature was available for some users some time back, but now it has started allowing on most of the devices. Next, we have got a brand new video editor now available on Google Photos. Let me show you that. Let's select a specific video over here. I'll select this video. And here when you tap on edit, you can see a brand new video editor right over here. We have got auto option, crop, adjust, filters, mute, speed, music and text options. So this means we now have a complete video editing tool within the Photos application which has been revamped and which has been improved. Next, we have got a brand new feature now available on Google Maps that is called Know Before You Go. Now this is an AI feature which will help you understand the place that you're visiting. It'll throw some information about that place. As you can see now, if I search for Wanderla Amusement Park here in Bengaluru, it gives me this overview here. It says Know Before You Go it is indicated in new and here it is suggesting me bring slippers, the floors get super hot, wear synthetic clothes, heads up water rides open around 12.30 p.m. And then you can tap on ask questions to ask further questions, ask more information about this place. And you can swipe towards the right to get some suggestions on the questions. Are there rights for kids? Do they have a lazy river? Let me just tap on this. Now here is the AI answering your question. It says yes, it has a lazy river as part of its water park section. And then you have got some reviews right below that. So uh, this is really interesting and it's going to be really useful if you are exploring something on Google Maps. For most of the places and addresses, you will get no before you go option right over here. And a few weeks ago, they did add the ask button here. When you tap on that, you'll be able to ask more questions about this place. And if you're using iPhones on Google Maps, the parking locations are now automatically saved, which wasn't the case before. Earlier, we had to select the parking location, but now wherever you park the car, automatically the parking location is saved. And once you exit from the parking location, it will vanish and you go to the new place and park your car 
it'll again be saved. So that makes it very easy to find your car whenever you park somewhere. That's a feature which has been improved on iPhones now and it will be coming to the Android phones as well. And the last update is about Gemini's availability on Google Home. Google says Gemini for Home is now rolling out on smart speakers and displays. Now this is going to be incredible because you will be able to continuously have conversations with Gemini which is a more advanced AI model unlike the Google Assistant that we had on the smart speakers and displays. So these are some updates that I have for you guys about the Google application. This information is quite useful for most of you out there because these are the applications we regularly use, Google Maps, Messages, Photos, etc. And it's always good to stay updated with what's happening with these applications, the new features, the new additions and deletions. All that I share on the channel so be sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.